hello hello my dear friends ladies and gentlemen i'm just saying hi today is saturday and i just had a few minutes i would like to connect with you hi hello wanted to share a few things <laughs> you guys always send me such funny reactions to my stories so i want <laughs> I want to thank you. I can't possibly, you know, respond to uh, to everyone, but I see your reactions and comments on my stories. It always makes me laugh. I was just thinking about. Um, I posted a story was uh, just it was a post with a um, <laughs> meme uh, <laughs> about uh, money. Um, so someone someone says money can buy happiness. <laughs> but proofs that they actually can you can always buy a ticket and go someplace beautiful you can always uh, enjoy yourself more when you have money and um, I forgot you know we had that saying that Slavic saying that money can't buy happiness but they can replace it <laughs> I just thought it was pretty funny. You know, I honestly think uh, about money, it's like a catalyst. I think that money shows who you truly are. If you are a dumb person, you would, you're would going to do some stupid things with money and probably will end up in jail somewhere with a drug overdose, doing something crazy. But if you're a smart person, you will do the most. You will enjoy your life. You will be able to have all these opportunities and you will share with others. So it always makes me laugh when I hear that money don't buy happiness because uh, <laughs> people who say this don't have any usually but um yeah it's like i think that money actually are the biggest catalyst or the biggest um wait uh, the biggest uh task to personality it's you know you can uh, sometimes you know you think oh you know this is such a sweet person uh or you think about someone and then when they get uh when they get is a fame or money they quote unquote becoming evil but they're not becoming evil they always have been evil <laughs> or bad or negative or crazy but just didn't have an opportunity to uh show that because they were not in the circumstance but that would reveal that so it's just kind of funny but yes you know as long as money can buy travel as long <laughs> as long as money can buy travel they can replace happiness <laughs> I'm just joking, of course. I think everyone has their own belief, uh, and uh, it's important to stick with what you believe, what makes you feel great. I uh, unfortunately, even water costs money. So, uh, as women, ladies, if you're watching me, we should never buy when the man tells us, "Oh, you're so material. You are." thinking about material things yes you should always thinking about material things because as women often we also become mothers and we need to think about material things because last time i checked milk a formula and other things uh, for a child and for yourself cost money so ladies if you just stop and buy i want to talk more on this channel about femininity and we have now lots of shame around femininity and around women want to be provided um, that it's bad, that it's some negative thing, but it's not. I would say to the ladies who are watching me, don't ever be with a man who, who uh, cannot provide. Because if he uh, has time to lay in bed with you, he has time to go make some money so he can protect you and take care of you. And should I even mention that beauty costs a lot of money? You know, you know. I always want to laugh. You know, when I do my makeup routine, and I, I, I'm gonna make this post sometime. This natural look only took me uh, <laughs> one hour. You know, money, but not even just makeup, but uh, you know, all the things, beauty, skincare, it all come at a cost. So, ladies, if you're watching me, remember that. Uh, if the, the man uh, claims that he wants a natural woman, let him have her, <laughs> right? I love men on, on, um, 
all of my platforms and in life so this is this is not targeted against anybody i'm just saying i'm just was just having a small talk with you guys hey john b good to see you tell me guys where you where you are joining from i have a few more minutes not too much but a few more minutes at one time when my business was extremely successful you couldn't wipe that smile of my face i had a lot of money yeah it gives you confidence and also you know that you know you can take care of the people that you love and uh, i think honestly one of the main things about about money i think it's not even the material things it's knowing that you can uh you know relax with your family and be actually present with your family i think uh when you have some major problems you know some financial problems some issues can you really sit with your child for example um with your wife and just enjoy the evening you know smell the candles um or smell the roses no you're going to be sitting there but your mind is going to be elsewhere you know this is this is one of the things i think one of the main thing thing uh, amazing things about having financial abundance is that you can be truly present for the people that you love you know once again when and that's why women should always uh, pay attention to those men who are ready to invest in them and do it with intention and consistency because then uh you understand that okay you know if i would be with this man i would have a child with this man i wouldn't have to sit near my child and you know being stressed whether we're gonna get eviction tomorrow or whether we're gonna have heating tomorrow because um the most amazing gift to our children uh as as women as mothers we can give it's our presence it's our focus you know not to be children feel that you can tell anything to to your child but uh, excuse me children they um, feel that energy and focus and those children that get uh, focus attention from their mothers they grew up with confidence and self-assurance and so on and so forth yes you know there are uh, religions and people who demonize everything who blame everything for, but yeah you know we love finance we love abundance and uh, i think um it's a wonderful thing to be able to provide for your family and uh f make them feel that they are protected and uh for ladies, I want to say, you know, men can tell you a lot of words. Yeah, I know I have a lot of men following me, so hi, guys. <laughs> men can tell you a lot of words, you know, how how goddess you are, how wonderful you are, and write your pages. But when they don't invest their hard-earned money in you to make your life better, to make your life easier and stress-free, it's just empty words. It's just a hope to uh, get something from you um and that's it not to give i post i made a post yesterday about feminine energy and it's really interesting you know i i wrote this post somebody actually asked me here on my you on my instagram that you know uh, start writing um, more about this and i wrote that you know every woman have that divine feminine energy in her in inside of her and when she gives that to a man who did not work for it, who did not earn it, she really drained herself and put herself um, in a bad situation uh, because the f feminine energy have incredible power to help men to achieve uh, lots of goals and tolerate high stress because feminine energy tru can truly relax the most tense men at the same time motivate him to go to go higher and higher because men needs that uh hello that goal and th those goals and motivation um more than they realize i think because uh men do don't have that you know too many demands you know men usually are pretty simple you know somebody jokes that if not for women men would be still living in caves simply because men are a bit more primal primal a bit more simple when it comes to this so yes i'm going to be talking more also on this channel we're going to talk of course i'm going to be showing off my first but we're also going to talk about femininity i always want to have a platform to talk about feminine things and the power of divine feminine i think it's needed and also divine masculine as well and i do talk somewhat uh or quite a bit actually on this on my youtube channel and by the way for my youtube subscribers i'm coming back to youtube um 
and I maybe uh, either tonight or tomorrow I'm going to go live and probably will uh, have some fur shoulder wrap because I want to have some tea in honor of uh, Her Majesty uh, celebrating her life and acknowledge ag acknowledging uh, or honoring acknowledging your immaculate service to people your your being an inspiring figure and just in general you know i think every person at least once in your life you should feel like you're attending meeting with a queen you have to have if you're a lady some pearls you gotta have some fur wrapped around your shoulder and you have to have finest china and a cup of tea right and if you're a guy everything but <laughs> but pearls <laughs> uh, probably not a fur stall but you know what I mean it's like it's just something uh, we may have a chat on my main uh, on my main channel on my YouTube just catching up before I start uh, doing the regular lives and uploads I know some of you guys were waiting for it and I'm glad that some of you follow me here on Instagram as well so thank you for that caves yes well men are really good you know there is a reason why men love camping um hunting you know like oh all this stuff all those bugs and uh all these primal things there's nothing wrong with it i think it's wonderful it's very masculine and uh i think i don't think that men in general really need that much uh, you know i'm gonna say this last thing so every time when I travel, every, every, sorry, my connection. So every every single time when I travel, can you guys still hear me? I hope you do. I wish I could <laughs> jokingly change my gender, because you know you realize, okay, you know you need this hairbrush, this hair conditioner, this cream. This outfit does not match this outfit, and this jewelry does not. So you need to do so much, and then like if you could be a guy, it's simple: three pairs of pants, three pairs of shorts, uh, shaving stuff, book, technology. That's all. If you would only know what we are going through as women when we are traveling, especially feminine women that want to look presentable, that want to do their uh, skin, their uh, hair and skin routine, that want to to maybe even look glamorous, look lovely, it's it's a hell of a job on itself. So every time I travel, sometimes I wish I was born as a man. That's the only time, though. That's the only time. But then you know, once my bags are packed, I'm like ah. You know, it's fine. I really love being, <laughs> I really love where I'm at, so never mind. But yes, I think men are a lot more simple. The, the way, I mean, simple in a good way, not in a bad way, but um, also the way men form their thoughts. Uh, it's very usually straightforward and logical, but we are more poetical, more romantic and emotional and inspiring. So I think it's a good balance right there and yes we do encourage men to not live in a cage or not cage but cave and do something more more uh civilized so anyhow guys i i have to go now i just wanted to come on please let me know if you enjoy my live shows here on instagram or would you just want me to i feel like i've been posting so much for reels i just want to come up and say hello thank you so much for your attention for your kind words for your comments for sharing my videos i'm going to do uh around christmas time i'm gonna do some rewards for those of you who write uh thoughtful comments who share my videos who share me to my story so yes i will uh i will do something uh lovely maybe three to five people and if you uh live in the u.s i can uh send you some um i can send you some little gifts probably gonna be uh some um for accessories or something like that depends if i i have more female accessories than than, ma than men's but we shall see we shall see okay anyhow or if you uh wanna to um you have some particular request or anything else that would be considered and by the way thank you for those of you who supported my instagram who supported my work my uh fun works that i very much enjoy thank you so much you can find my information in the bio here on instagram 
and uh, please uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel at the Ukrainian Perspective because one of these evenings maybe even this weekend I'm gonna be going live and we're gonna have some tea to honor Her Majesty her memory and she she has there is so much to celebrate <laughs> it's unbelievable <laughs> it's just it's hard to imagine that anybody could serve not just live for 70 years but serve for 70 years that anybody could stay that consistent we live in a world of complete inconsistency of of politicians who never keeps a promise who never follow up with anything they say everything ends after the campaign is over you know after the political campaign is over all their promises goes right to the trash can but it is um and truly impressive to see somebody who left who uh, such an incredible immaculate immaculate legacy and uh yeah it's just we should have some tea i'll put it this way thank you john b john b saying always a pleasure tea and crumpets yes we may have tea tea and crumpets i wish i could do british accent but i cannot <laughs> all right guys have a so I should say ladies and gentlemen guys is too common ladies and gentlemen we'll see you next time and i hope you have a lovely weekend thank you so much if i miss someone's comment and you want to share or, or tell me something please uh send me a message and i will reply thank you